been named uh, freshman of the week uh, by the OVC. Um, is there any way you can even expand or even just talk a little bit more about what it was like for you to get just such a good start uh, with this program after last year? No, I'm just glad I got the game. I got my first game jitters out of me in the first game, and I was able to come out and play well in the game open against Wright State. Shaq, from a defensive standpoint, uh, what are going to be some of the key things that you guys work on after reviewing how well you guys did against Wright State? Uh, I'll just say, like, uh, helping the next guy out, like the guy that guarding the ball, he got to know that he can go pressure the ball and have his help side there. That we're going to focus on more high help side defense. Early in the game against Wright State, you all struggled to score the ball. Was there any particular reason for that? Is there anything you all changed to correct that? Uh, I just think it, we were just so ready to like play and who we trying to rush and instead of just playing our game. That's about it. Hey, Tevin. Uh, Coach was, if there's one thing Coach was excited about after the game was that first three possessions of the second half. Just take us through that because you those plays basically you kind of knew I'm going to get a shot here. Um, just take us through that period of time because I thought that really set the tone for the rest of the game right there. I mean, I went into halftime with no points, not making any shots, and I knew that my team was going to need me to make shots in order for us to – get on with the game. So when we came out and he called the first one and I hit, we went back down. I told him to call the same play again just to see. And I made that one and it got us going. Certainly did. Defensively, I feel like, and maybe you guys can help me out here. I'll probably look at some numbers, but I feel like the wingspan of this defense is bigger than last year's. Yeah. Do you guys feel the same way? Yeah, it is. From a side to side standpoint, you guys look like pterodactyls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just, can anybody just explain? Is that kind of the emphasis of this defense? Uh, uh, I think it plays a big part. It make uh like they can't like catch the ball where they want to to get in their uh, offense easy. And with our wingspan, we just make them like play toward half court and do what we want. Tevin, uh, what about for you? I mean, obviously you're a new element to that this year. Do you feel like your wingspan helps really create? Uh, or at least deny the penetration that teams want. Yeah, it helps a lot more because they won't be able to get the passes inside the paint from outside the arc as easy as they would if we were people with short arms. So it helps a lot with that. Tevin, you talked about Coach calling the same play on two consecutive possessions. How often does he call a play in the flow of the action? Is that something that happens all the time? It depends on how the game's going. If, say, for that game at the beginning we were rushing stuff, he would slow us down by calling plays like that. But if we were in the floor in the game and everything was going good, we would just run with the offense and go with what the defense gives us. Okay. I know that the two of you guys have got a lot of insight on this. I'm just curious. One of the big things that got you guys going early was Ja finding his own shot. How often do you think a guy like him is going to lead this team in scoring this year? Um, a lot because he can score so many different ways and he know how to uh, create contact. He'll get to the free throw line. Yeah, he going to lead the team a lot. You kind of snickered a little bit. Yeah. You think it's, you think it's coming? Yeah, because yeah. there's, like, he can do everything. Like, he can shoot. He can get to the goal at will. He can create his own shot at any time. So it's going to be pretty hard to stop him from scoring like that. But is, isn't that the challenge to – create those second, third, fourth, and fifth scoring people, whoever they are, right? Yeah. How, how do you guys go about that? Uh, we just we just play off each other. Like, if we see a guy going, why not stop, why, why stop going to him when he making shots? Yeah, we just go with the flow. Whoever on, they on. Turnovers, I know, were a big key factor in this game, and you guys still won by a pretty solid margin. Mm -hmm. How much will you guys work on turnovers this week, and, and what was Matt's message, even uh, at halftime and after some of those timeouts, about taking care of the basketball? Uh, that's been our main focus uh, since we've been practicing, was turning the ball over, taking care of the ball. And we know moving forward, we can't keep turning the ball over like that and win like that. It just happened. It just was in our favor. Uh, 
against Wright State. Wright State was a really good team. Uh, going into the game, was this a game that you all were looking at kind of as a measuring stick just to see how good you were? Definitely, because they were – we were talking more about toughness going into this game because we knew that with the bigs that they had, we had to be tough on offensive rebounding and defensive rebounding. So we focused mainly on that, and we happened to come away with that, and we came away with the win. Here's an off-the-wall question. Uh, the football game happened, obviously, earlier in the day. Uh, did you all see uh, – on video or however, the kickoff return uh, at the end of the football game before your game. Yeah, we uh, right the game. yeah, like we uh had shoot around. Then right when we got our shoot around, we seen the video. I assume that was probably just a little bit of a shot in the arm at that point. Yeah. Because the coach actually just told us earlier today, uh, Mitch did that Malik actually came right over to the game. Yeah. Most guys, mm -hmm. most guys would go and celebrate that kind of. I mean, I would. I'd, I'd want to go to like. <laughs> Applebee's or you know, wings and whatever else and Cracker Barrel. I know there's not much to do. He was, up, he was up there in the section signing autographs. Yeah, he was signing some autographs and he was here at the he was at the men's basketball game. Mm -hmm. right. What does that mean to you guys? The support between the football team and the and the basketball team. Uh, that why we came to Mirror just to support and we support them. They support us. Just trying to see that athlete do good here. Yeah. What do the both of you hope to learn on Friday? I know Spalding kind of comes in a, a little bit of a smaller program, a smaller team, um, and then you'll get another Division One opponent next week. Um, what are you guys going to focus on the most over the next couple of weeks with a game like that on Friday? Uh, not playing like coming in and playing hard, like just to say like if it's Wright State or Alabama, don't just look at them just because they Spalding. We just gonna come in and play our game, play hard, work on not turning the bottle, like you said and things like that. Main emphasis for that game is turnovers. We cannot have that many turnovers again, and that's probably going to be a big factor in what we do this week in practice.